But the fact of the matter is, sir, I am not a racist. During the question and answer portion, the governor was asked by one man about his past comments about black drug dealers in Maine. He said since those comments, he has been keeping a collection of all of the people arrested for dealing drugs in the state. I don't ask him to come to Maine sell that poison, but they come. And I will tell you that 90 plus percent of those pictures in my book, and it's a, it's a three ring binder. He continued by saying there were also a lot of white women from Maine, but said he's suggesting heroin is being distributed by people from Connecticut in New York, and they could be white, black, purple, or orange, but they are killing Maine citizens. The governor said he would defend anyone who asked them to, no matter what race they are. Some were in full support of the meeting. I thought it was excellent. I would travel to the moon to see our governor. Yeah. He's a good guy. He's doing what's right for the state of Maine. I thought it was wonderful. It's my first time hearing the governor. One woman felt LePage fell short when it came to supporting the Somali community and comments made by Trump during his last visit. And didn't support the, the people that were speaking about that and how they do not contribute to the crime in our state. And I was disappointed that he couldn't step up to the plate on that regard. And speaking of those pictures in the book, the three ring binder, he said 90 plus were of black people and Hispanics. He also said he will defend legal Mainers and has helped many Somalians, but doesn't go around bragging about it. LePage also covered topics like taxes and energy and said he believes the president made a bad decision today by making Landon, Maine a national monument. Live in the studio tonight, Morgan Sturdivant, WMDW News 8.